you've ever had a moment just like the one I just showed you, do not fret. My name is Dawn and I'm a professional organizer at Emory and Jane where I serve the North Alabama area as well as providing um, virtual services for clients online. Now I've had clients who felt that exact same way until I showed them how to fold a sheet. So today I'm going to show all of you how to fold a fitted sheet and make it look just like a sushi roll. Let's go. So what we're doing, that's the back side. What we're doing is we're going to fold sheets just like this. So this is the pillowcase, both pillowcases, and then there's the flat sheet and there's the fitted sheet. First things first. Y'all folding sheets is not that hard. I know most people, it's the fitted sheet that gets you on 90% of the people that tell me that they can't fold sheets. It's the fitted sheets that get them. So we're going to fold that one first. First things first is when you fold your sheets, and I'm going to tell you why, fold them inside out. Fold your fitted sheet inside out, okay? And the reason is because when you take your fitted sheet, like here's the short end so this is the end that would be either at the bottom of your bed or the top of your bed okay but when you fold it you're gonna fold like say this is the bottom of your bed this is the top of your bed you're gonna fold your sheet like this but you're gonna fold it inside out okay and the reason is because when you unfold it when you make your bed then the right side of the sheet is on top okay so we're gonna fold it inside out okay so don't think I'm crazy and I'm doing it wrong I'm not doing it wrong that's just how I do it so like I said, you're going to fold it. If it was on your bed already and you were folding, you would fold top down, okay? From the top of the bed to the bottom or bottom to top, whatever, but in half that way, okay? So you'll take your two corners and you can see on this one right there is the seam in the corner. Same thing on this side and you're just going to fold it over one over the other. And then you'll see here's the seam from the actual underside of the sheet, okay? Same thing slide your hand down over to the other side and you can lay this double corners thing just lay down it's not going anywhere it's not going to come untucked or anything take this one and then if you pick up that top corner and just find where the the corner actually is and then use the other one and just glide your finger your hand in there and then see same thing it's the out or the it's the wrong side okay then take that two corners, okay, so you've got two, two corners here and two corners here, they're doubled up, and then same thing, fold it over, and that's when still all inside out, okay, that's when you end up with a quarter of your sheet, and if you can see, that's where all this bunchiness kind of comes from. Now really, I don't bother like trying to make any of it pretty until I get to this point because there's no point, okay? So lay it down on your table or bed or wherever you're folding sheets at, kitchen counter, I don't care. Normally I do this on my bed, but filming on my bed is a little cumbersome, so we're doing it in here. So here you can see when you lay the sheet down, all this material is automatically folded over. So the difference when you're trying to fold your fitted sheet and your flat sheet to match folded and be the same size, that's the difference. Because on your fitted sheet, you've got 15 inches of material on two ends that are already folded in on each other that you can't, you're not even utilizing, okay? So that's why you fold the fitted sheet first because you're gonna get what size you get when you fold it. The flat sheet, you can actually kind of tweak it and make it match this. You can't tweak this, it's not going anywhere, okay? So take it and fold it in thirds. It doesn't have to be a perfect third, but try and get it as straight as possible. And then smoosh all the air out. And yes, that's a technical term, smoosh. Smoosh all the air out. And then take the bottom half and fold it up, smoosh all the air out, okay? So you'll see right here, it's not perfectly matching up to the, this edge isn't perfectly matching that edge. It doesn't matter. As long as it's not overlapping, then you're fine. If it's under a little bit, an inch or whatever, it's no big deal. And then you're gonna take, same thing, a third and a third, that's it, okay? Super, super easy. I do this side first, honestly, because it's smaller, so it, it goes in narrow, it's not sticking out. And then take this side, a third. 
okay? So when your sheet's folded, when you have it sitting in your linen closet, if you have a linen closet and you are lucky like that, when you have it sitting there, all you're gonna see is this one single edge. You're not gonna see all these edges, okay? You're not gonna see none of that. That's all gonna be hiding in the back. It's all about presentation, okay? So, that's what we're gonna do. So you take your, fold, your folded fitted sheet, set them to the side, okay? So when I fold my flat sheet, I fold it to where the it's actually folded right side out. And the reason for that is when I put my sheets on my bed, it's that same concept. When I lay my sheets on my bed, I lay the inside hem, which would be like the wrong side. You can see there's a seam right there. I lay it down to where that side is what's facing up if my sheet's laying flat on my bed. Because when I fold, when I make my bed, and then I actually take the sheet and the blanket and then I fold it back down. When you fold it back down, that's when you see that pretty detail that comes on, on your sheet. Okay, at the top end of the, um, the top set, uh, seam, whatever. That's when you see that, okay? If you fold it, or if you laid your sheet on your bed the other way to where the pretty side was up, if you fold it down, you're going to see that underside hem. What we want to see is the pretty detail, okay? And some sheets... Lord, depending on how much you spend, that detail is fancy, okay? My detail's not that fancy, but it's a little bit of detail and I want to see it, okay? So, take your sheet, same thing, from top, top, big hem, to bottom, little hem, and match your corners, okay? And the reason we match our corners is because it makes life a whole lot easier when you're trying to get it all folded. So match your corners. If you don't want to match your corners, I'm not going to yell at you. You can do what you want. Get your edges. Match corners. And then take those two sets of corners. So there's two corners here and two corners here. And match those. And then you have your sheet is basically folded in quarters. Okay. Take that. Do that a little bit, because it means you mean business, I guess, maybe. And then lay that sucker down on your bed, on your counter, on your table, on whatever you got, whatever you're laying it down on. Now, if you'll notice, this is way wider just laying here as a quarter of a sheet than that fitted sheet was, okay? That's because, like I said, when you've got that fitted sheet, there's like 15 inches of material all the way around your sheet that you're not, you have nothing to do with that when it comes to folding your sheet. So this one is just like by surface area, it's just way bigger, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull it down a little bit and we're gonna kind of mimic what the fitted sheet does. Remember how when you laid down that fitted sheet, the top corner or the top edge where all the elastic was folded down and then the side edge where all that elastic was folded down. So we're gonna kind of mimic how that was. So that gets rid of some of that material that we have to worry about in the first place, okay? So then what you're gonna do is fold some of that down. And then same concept, we're gonna fold our sheet in thirds, okay? Now the reason you take your fitted sheet, excuse me, that wasn't cute. Um, your fitted sheet and set it over to the side is you're gonna use this, the actual width of your folded fitted sheet to help measure how wide your folded flat sheets should be. So that way when you sit them on top of each other, you don't have one sheet that's this wide and another one that's this wide, okay? This just helps make it pretty. So you're gonna set that over there and I'm gonna move you over, ready? I'm gonna bounce because we're on a tripod, okay? So you see that sheet is sitting, the fitted sheet is acting kind of like a ruler for the um, flat sheet, which is what we want. That's what we need it to do, and it's doing its job, okay? And then you're gonna take the bottom half, well, make sure it's straight first. Smush air out, you take that bottom half and fold it up. Then you can see there's, it's not matching, and it doesn't seem like this is a lot of difference between the two sizes of sheets, but in reality, when you stack them on top of each other, that's when you can tell, and that's when it gets really, really annoying. But at this point, it's super easy to just adjust it, tweak and peek, okay? That's what I learned in the Navy. So that's what I'm gonna share with y'all today. It's all about tweak and peek, okay? 
So then fold that one back up and you can see it matches a whole lot better. The width all the way across, okay? So we're gonna do that. Now that we've got that, we're gonna, we're gonna bounce a little more and come back here. And then you're gonna take your fitted sheet and the way that you used this edge as a guide for how narrow the fold should be on your flat sheet is same thing. You're gonna use this side to figure out how long the whole set of sheets should be, okay? Now same thing with, remember I was saying how I fold, hold on, very dramatic, wasn't it? Fold that in because I want all the, um, the open edges to be folded in and tucked in so you don't see that because it just looks prettier that way and it makes you look, looks fancy. So whenever you have company come over to your house and they snoop in your linen closet, because y'all all know that's what company does, they snoop. And usually the linen closet's real close to the bathroom. So that's when they snoop is when they go to the bathroom. So like your mother-in-law or your best friend or your neighbor or whoever, when they snoop, they'll see pretty matching sheets. And then they'll get all jets. So you take that, fold it in. And I honestly, y'all, probably would not be spending this much time on making sure it was perfect if I wasn't making a video. Because if I wasn't making a video, none of y'all would see it. But since I am, I want someone to come back and say, her sheets don't match, they're not the same size. So, same thing, tweak and peek, just if you've got a little edge that's sticking out, just stick it back in. So that's how you've got that. And then all we need now is our pillowcases. So we're gonna do that next, okay? So, let me tell you something about these pillowcases. First of all, I don't know if y'all have seen, but I have seen on like Pinterest or whatever websites, Googly image stuff, where you'll see the sheets that are actually inside the pillowcase. And on the picture, y'all, it looks pretty. It looks super pretty. But it looks like the pillowcase is only this wide, okay? Pillowcases aren't that wide. Pillowcases are this wide, okay? And then you got all that dangling down there. So, I've tried it. And I could not figure out how to do it and make it look nice. And if I'm gonna fold my stuff, I want it to look nice because it's the point of doing it if you don't want it to look nice. So what I do instead is I literally, I just fold them in thirds lengthwise, just like that. And I take both pillowcases that come with your sheets and I do the same thing. If you buy, y'all know, any size sheets besides twin, cause on twin you get like one, take your thing, both your pillowcases, just fold them in thirds. That's it, no big deal, nothing special. Fold in thirds lengthwise, and then sit them on top of each other. Lord, y'all can't see nothing. Sit them on top of each other, and then bring your sheets back in the picture. And take your pillowcases and just drape it across the top. And that's it. And then you'll pick up you can do this one of two ways, really. You can try and shove it under the bottom. There's no point in that. Don't get all difficult with it. I just rest it across my chest and pull tight so that it kind of, that's where that like kind of burrito fold it, pull tight. And that's when you end up with your sheet sushi roll looking. No rice, just sheet, okay? So that's how you get that. This way, when they're all done and they're all folded, if you have a linen closet, like some of you lucky fools do and you stack them on top of each other that's what it looks like in your linen closet okay nice and pretty now these two don't match in size that's because this one's a queen and this one's a full so it's not going to match anyways but when you match when you match the sheet sizes if i could talk today that would help um and you stack all of that up in one it's one stack and it looks beautiful that's where you get like Pinterest worthy linen closet pictures. Okay. Hey y'all. I really hope that was helpful for you. Comment hashtag sushi roll in the comments below. If you think you can do this to your sheets, I totally think you can. Please consider liking and subscribing the page and share this with one of your friends. If you know, they have no clue how to fold a fitted sheet. We'll see you next week with another video. Bye guys.